Hey gang, Scott here. So last week I shared a video where I was using Select Landscape in Lightroom to try to get a selection of a particular part of architecture in a photo. And you know, this this photo here, I was trying to select the, the the stone house and do a treatment to it. And Select Landscape wasn't quite working. I needed to reach for some other tools and combine them to get what I was after. Uh, Mark asked a question on the video. Uh, well, what about a different software package? You know, he's an on one user. Or, you know, what would I do there? How would I approach this? Uh, so Mark, I want to frame that question a little bit and I will address it in this video, but uh, to take a step back and really just say, whatever software you're using, it's got masking, understand what the different masking tools do and how you can combine them to get the selection that you need because each one is going to work a little differently. You know, some uh, ones where a certain photo one package might do air quotes better than another identifying a particular element in a photo uh, but nevertheless you can get to the selection that you want and just understanding what tools you have available and how you can put them together uh, so we're going to look at uh, the three packages that i primarily use with my photography lightroom on one and luminar from skylum so we're going to look at all three of those same photo and just what would we do to select this uh, this little stone house that's uh, becoming infamous here on my channel for the, the last week? Uh, but let's uh, let's go through it. And I'm going to start recapping what I had in Lightroom. So this is uh, more or less unprocessed, other than uh, you know I think a crop. And um, so what I what what I wanted to do is I wanted to have this this stone house and the the stonework in the in the kind of the mid ground selected so I could do some kind of treatment on it. And what was uh, was falling short when I used the landscape option, I could get the sky, I could kind of get the mountains, although bits of the architecture were showing up. There wasn't an option for architecture. And so, you know, one approach that I, I took, I think in that video was, I chose these two, created the mask, then did a little subtraction work, right, with the brush to kind of say, okay, get rid of this stuff here, and I'll just be kind of sloppy because you've seen this if you watched the video last week, you know, get rid of that stuff there, and then add in with a brush this stuff here. Okay, I've got all that. Well, what's the last thing I can do? I can invert it, you know, and now I have what I'm after. Uh, you know, there's a variety of ways that you could accomplish this. Another person suggested, you know, uh, an, in, an uh, intersection. Uh, you could try the object selection. But you can get to what you're after to be able to treat, you know, the, the area of the photo that you want just using the tools you had to build them up. So let's look at this same photo in on one and, you know, what would the approach there be? And so let's, let's have a look. So here in on one, uh, a good place to start to see how it's going to do is just I'll hit add filter and take a look at the AI masks. You know, okay, we got all none, uh, background and foreground not really helping. Architecture, it's getting a bit. Flora, natural ground, it's getting a bit more. Sky is almost always fine, and, and mountain, it's getting a little bit muddy there. So not any one or even combination. Like if I were to choose, you know, mountain and, and natural ground, we're we're closer or architecture and say natural ground close, I need to do some masking work there. Uh, instead, I think I'll take a look instead at super select, do super select there, and that's an easy one. And depending on how I hover around here, or I can use like a big, oh, that was good, wherever I was just a second ago. There it is. We got that whole piece, so and then a few more clicks in there. That's a really nice selection. And then in this area, I might just do this, like drag a box over this, find me that. Um, drag a box over this, find me that. And the rest I could paint in later. I can do the clicks with super select here. But you know, getting that same selection built up and you know, at that point, we're pretty, we're pretty darn close. I'd go ahead and add my filter. Let me just say, oh, I'm gonna do natural on that. And then I'll open up the masking tool, view it, and do any brush work that I need to do. And it actually did a very good job. It got uh, everything in the foreground and I can just clean up that little bit. So in this case, super select was the way to go with on one, the, uh, the AI mask where it segments into architecture, sky mountains. This is a more confusing scene to AI. Uh, so what about Luminar? What's the approach there? Let's figure it out. 
in Luminar, we're normally we're choosing an, a, an, a tool, an effect, and then uh, crafting our mask. So let's use let's use structure because structure is something we'd likely want to add to this foreground. We'll go into masking, and we have a few options. Uh, I'll start with, again with the the mask AI. Let the AI think about the photo a little bit, figure out what the segments are, and let's see what it came up with. Architecture, pretty good. Uh, natural ground. Let's add that in. Not bad. And mountains and sky. This is where I think it'll it'll do uh, you know what we expect. Mountains again. This seems to be a confusing scene for AI where it's picking up like the the footing of of what's underneath the house, which is I guess really a mountain. And of course, the sky is going to be sky. So this is already pretty close. And from here, um, what else can we do? Instead, we could try an object select and add in the last bit of the pieces that are missing here just to fill in the rest of the gaps and this one from that point forward i probably just do a brush great i've added all those things and now i can do all of the adjustments that we would do like you know boost up the structure on that so it's knowing the masking tools that you have available and the approach to it you know so whatever your editor of choice is lightroom on one luminar uh, you know, capture one. Uh, and there's there's others out there. They're going to be having features like this. Knowing how to approach it, how to build up from it. You don't have to uh, just if you don't get like the one and done mask. I love it when it happens, but when it doesn't, you've got other options. You can explore them. And uh, you know, if you got other questions, you know, go ahead and drop them below. But you know, again, this is this is not intended to be like this tool has the best masking because there's a lot of other considerations you're going to make when you're using a photo editor and knowing that you've got good foundational tools that you can combine and build up to get the selection you need and then get the look that you want on your photo. That's what's most important. Hope you found the video useful. Questions again, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.